ladies and gentlemen, if you spend any time working with um, batteries or like uh, battery projects on YouTube, you've probably seen one of these DALI BMSs. They seem to be quite common, relatively decent, and yeah, okay. Um, unfortunately for, for the curious among us, they are completely potted. Um, now the one that I'm holding in my hand is a 40 amp Dennis uh, NMC one. Um, and I wanted to tear one apart to see what's inside. Now this actually yeah, is the exception. The all the other ones I have are uh, are 50 uh, amps, and I took one of the dead ones and opened it. So um, yeah. Here we go. Uh, now, you may be wondering, you know, how did you actually remove this? Must be some, because it's all potted, you know, how did you get it all off? Some special chemical techniques, some temperature, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, this was not very fun, but it was a learning experience. So yeah, this is the, the BMS in question, 10 has 36 volt, 50 ampere discharge. Um, and yeah, inside, and yeah, maybe just uh, worth mentioning, it's quite interesting how they actually build this, because, so this aluminum plate has a few knobs sticking out, and those align with the holes, and then you have these little thingies, um, spacers, and you put the spacer in there, and then, you know, that's how this plate gets mounted. But at the same time, this is also how the... Oh, God, where is it? Oh, there it isn't here. It has a little back plate um, on both sides. This one doesn't have it. Yeah, it has aluminum on both sides, and you can see some thermal putty compound thing. Um... So yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually this is I quite like how the thermal management is done, wicks the heat away nicely. Um, hopefully, you should see the components. I am by no means an expert or anything close to uh, how exactly these things work. Um, yeah, but clearly, you know, this is for the balancing. It only has the the top end balancing, and you know, oh, of course, the the main power. Uh, MOSFETs and then the, the shunts and then this is the, the brains of the operation. I'll make sure to put the chip number in there. Uh, in the in the description here is where the um, little, probably a thermistor, um, is connected. But yeah, you know, hopefully this will help some among you who were wondering what the insides of it look like. And then... Uh, Maybe someone smarter than me uh, can take a look at this and uh, enlighten the rest of us uh, if, if it's any, uh, any good or not. So yeah, tear things apart. Always uh, useful things to learn. Hopefully, um, yeah, it's been useful. Take care.